Hello guys, uh, today we have a track guide for the Daily Race C. Uh, it is on the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya GP for some to say. Uh, I'm using the Porsche RSR. Um, I guess you can use a lot of cars here since it's uh, Group 3 cars and the BOP on Group 3 cars are really, really good. Uh, so let's get right into it, shall we? Basically, we're going to start breaking here at the black mark before the 100 meter mark. You will gradually at the brake, you will downshift in a straight line. If you downshift while turning, the car will destabilize and you will lose the rear end. That's from what I've seen with the Porsche. Maybe it's not with the other cars. So basically, you want to brake in a straight line, downshift in a straight line to second gear, even first if you want to rotate the car a bit more like, like I did, but you will lose the rear end eventually, so you want to correct it. You are aiming at the inner uh, bracket here, at the inner curbs. You want to hug it, upshift into second gear here, control the throttle on the exit. You don't want to use full throttle here, you, you will see I'm... I'm lifting the throttle as I go over the tight curb here because if you go full throttle you lose the rear end you're spinning out uh, upshift into third gear here uh, let go of the throttle I do not use brakes here only if you want to correct the corner you can basically just use the throttle to control the the entirety of this turn so as you can see I downshift the second to give me the rotation not to use the brakes if you brake you lose the momentum and the speed and I don't think it will be a good time. You you need to carry the speed through the corner and hug the right side of the curb. And when you see the left uh, orange marks on the wall, you want to add the throttle fully. You don't need to like let go and stuff like that. Upshift into fourth gear. Hold your left side here. You want to start braking just before you hit this uh, bridge. I would I would like to call it. I guess. Um, fully on the brakes under the bridge uh, and uh, coast do not like do not coast on the entirety of the time you want to hug the right side of the curb use first gear to rotate the car and gradually add the throttle in the second gear do not use the first gear you will spin out but as, use as much as you can you see i'm using the left side as much as i can upshift into third gear do not upshift into fourth gear because you will start braking as soon as you lose, you see that on the left side, the, the black um, pole, I start braking in a straight line here, downshift second and first gear to ro rotate the car. I lost the rear end here. This is not the ideal line, but I managed to get it like with the throttle and the throttle control and upshift into second gear. Use as much as you can on the right side on the exit of this turn. This could have been a better lap, but yeah. I'm not saying it's perfect, but the lines are good. Here, you want to lose the control, uh, lose the throttle. But just before you touch the right side here, you see where, where the curb starts, the white line. You want to start braking there fully on the brakes. Coastline, downshift into second and hug the left side of the curb. Do not go over the green part because it's slippery, I would say. And upshift into third gear if you want to stabilize the car. But if you want, if you're good on throttle control just keep it in second and full throttle when you straighten up the car here you want to just tight slightly tap the brakes keep it in third gear you can use third uh, second gear as i did because i've i've lost the momentum a bit but upshift into into third gear as soon as you want to go on the throttle unless you want to spin out uh here i'm uh, using the the pole right there uh to brake you will see this pole. I start braking there. This was maybe a tight, tight brake uh, braking point, but it's around 150 meter mark. Uh, as I've said, always brake in a straight line, straight line, straight line. And when I downshift into first gear, then I start to rotate the car, use the curb on the left side, control the throttle on the exit. You don't need to upshift into second because you're using the throttle in a straight line you will not spin out hug the curb here downshift into second gear even first if you want to ro rotate this is more of a style style you have uh, i actually have to rotate the car with gears 
not so much with the throttle and the turning. Uh, upshift second gear, use the left side as much as you can. I barely lost it here. Uh, go with your left side of the, of the car on this curb. You can use the curb as much as you can. Here you want to downshift it to third gear. Hold the line on the left and then use the line on the second gear. Even if you want, I kept the third gear. I think it's, it's second. And that's about it. Uh, fully into the throttle on the exit. This was a top 50 time, I would say. It definitely can go better. I can even go 39s probably. Uh, I will probably. But uh, this is just to help you guys get uh, get the feeling of the lap, I guess. And this is not a bad time. It's a top 50 in the world time. So I hope it helps. And I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.